so you think you're crazy. So you think there's something wrong. So you think you're out of tune with all the other songs. Wordplay is a performance poetry on prescription project for people experiencing mental ill health. So Wordplay came together uh, a few years ago, actually, uh, as part of a bigger project uh, that we were running across Somerset, working with a number of different groups. Then thought, well, actually, this could work and we need to trial it really within a, a medical context. And that's, in a sense, how Marsha and other colleagues came on board. So I knew Mark from uh, my days working at, at Mind, and uh, we tried um, to, um, you know, tried the project out in community settings and with housing associations. But when um, uh, I got involved with IPC and had conversations with um, Riles Park, um, it was quite interesting to see if we could use a social prescribing pilot such as um, word play with uh, primary care patients um, mm. under the auspices of personalisation. So that's where it came from. Yeah. Um, we want to be able to um, demonstrate how to put together a social prescribing um, programme, if you like, for um, community organisations working with primary care. Um, so part of the work that we're doing is looking at what cost per head mm -hmm. this intervention is going to be, um, looking at the evaluation side of yeah. things, and also um, just the day-to-day the -day, um, things that come up when you're working with different partners. So um, it's really exciting that we're going to come out of this with a, with a toolkit, if you like, for, for social prescribing. Um, often we found that patients really struggle to describe their emotions, the challenges that they're facing in life, and we hope that this project would provide them with the skill set to do that. So we really feel the project's had a massive impact on the patients who've been involved. So we went to the performance and saw three people who had really grown through the process. I was absolutely amazed that these people were able to stand on a stage and project their voice and amazing poetry for people who had never been involved in poetry before. My husband said, what's poetry got to do with your being ill? And I said, surprisingly a lot actually. Poetry brings out my voice instead of keeping it all inside. The manic, the anxiety, the fear. Like a flashing light in a blank room. Poetry keeps my light on. Here you are allowed to be you. We see you. We hear you. We want you to speak. And we will listen. That is our choice. To give you the space to find your voice. I think finding a way of expressing yourself through creativity can really shift things and help you emotionally. Um, and especially with projects like Wordplay, which are about voicing what's happening inside your head and having that validated um, is incredibly important for people. I am a path, a windy and peaceful path with no section the same as the last. Getting to see the sun as it sets the moon at its brightest, to hear the sounds of nature as they live their lives. When we started this version of Wordplay, this project at Riles Park, and the participants came, um, they were very different from how they are now in the group. Um, now they're very confident and outgoing, but at the beginning, particularly one participant, his whole body language was different. He looked at his shoes, he didn't want to talk, he held his arms really tightly around himself. And even within the first session, he looked up and he started to smile. And then as each session went on, he sort of took more care of his appearance, which is always a big sign. He sort of came along, he was much more open. He would sort of take his coat off and sit with his arms open. Um, and he would join in more and more. I've become more confident in talking about what's wrong. Um, not just to professional kind of health coaches or doctors, but to family and friends and just generally to other people that could help me. That's happened for all the participants in one way or the other. They've become far more confident. They've come in feeling far happier. Their body language is different. Um, they're just more able to talk, more quick to talk about what's going on with them. And they sort of feel safe, I think, as well. I thought poems were frightening, too deep for me. At school they told me I was no good at them. But here, in this circle, the poetry belongs to everyone. 
It's our bouncy castle shared adventure multicoloured map of the world. Fairy lights twinkle from the bookshelves and bunting flutters in the windows. There is magic here. A kettle in the corner. Biscuits if we're lucky. And we lean on encyclopedias and medical journals, their clinical descriptions faintly visible under our fingers. This is the highlight of my week. Together, in a circle, chatting, writing, someone is always late, in the space where vowels can be flat and verbs flattering. And it's okay to think big, but you really don't have to. Sometimes it's easier to reply than to initiate. Sometimes we catch ourselves laughing and it just feels natural. The breadcrumb trail through the dark, dark wood that gives us a voice to be heard, understood. Amidst the real people who sit here, their light too bright to ignore. Characters written in biro laid out on the floor. The opening of a portal where emotions can go where they've never been. It's the power of having your heart seen. Where speakers need listeners, lookers need something to see. It's the unstranging of strangers that gave me back to me. Wrapped up in the rhymes and rhythms of the, this thing poetry. <laughs> <laughs>